Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a single column toolbox in GIMP. I'll also be showing you some GIMP toolbox customizations that I typically work with. I'll be using GIMP version 2.10.20 which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial and I do recommend using GIMP version 2.10.18 or newer to take full advantage of what we're going to discuss in this tutorial. Before I get into that, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. I have tons of video tutorials on here, my GIMP book of layers, and free software help articles, so definitely check that out. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. You can enroll in any of my Skillshare classes by visiting gimpschool.com. And you can get more with a premium membership to Davies Media Design. I'll include all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. All right, so here is my current setup inside of GIMP 2.10.20. We're not gonna quite have the exact same setup by the time this tutorial is over. But you can see over here on the left side, this is the toolbox here for those of you who are unfamiliar with GIMP. And right now everything is grouped together. That's because in GIMP 2.10.18 or newer, GIMP has decided to group all the tools together by default. So everything's grouped together and we have a single column. But let me reset this and show you guys what you're probably looking at. So I'll go to Edit, Preferences, and I'll come over here to Window Management. And right here you'll see it says Reset Saved Window Positions to Default Values. So I'll click on that. And I'll click OK. Click OK again and let's exit out of GIMP. So now we need to reopen GIMP. All right, so here we are back to the default positions for things like the toolbox, the tool options, and on the right side, you have pretty much all the default tabs that originally display when you first download GIMP. So the first step towards a single column toolbox layout is that you need to drag all of the dockable dialogues that are located below the toolbox to another location in GIMP. So by default under here, you'll see we have a variety of default dockable dialogues starting with the tool options and then you have your device status, undo history and images. So we need to move all four of these tabs out from underneath the toolbox and I can do that by clicking and dragging. And you can see that once I do that, these blue highlight areas will show up indicating where I can drag this. I can also simply release this like so, and that will release this as its own little floating dialogue. I don't recommend doing that, but it is an option. And now what I'll do, I can click on this tab again and drag it. And we could drag it over here. This is where I prefer to have my tool options on this left side here. You'll see the entire left side will highlight. So I'll release. And now my tool options are over here. And I just need to do the same thing for the remaining three tabs. So you can also stack tabs on top of each other or dockable dialogues, I should say. You could stack them on top of each other. So I'll click and drag my core pointer dialog and I can drag it up top here. You'll see that will highlight, that will light up. I'll release and I'll do the same thing here and I can drag this next to the device status like so. And lastly, we have the images tab. We can drag that over here and I'll release. Quick note, you can drag these over here with these other tabs that are already open if you prefer. But like I said, I prefer having all this stuff over here in a second column. Once we have those dialogues relocated, I can come over here and you'll see these three dots. If I hover my mouse over it, you'll see my mouse pointer will change. And I'll click and drag this to the left. And as I do that, this will automatically reposition my tools. So I can stop right there if I want, or I can keep going until this is basically as small as it'll possibly go for those of you who want more canvas room. Or you can give yourself a little more space like so and release your mouse. Now we have a single column toolbox. And once you do have the single column toolbox by default, when you hover your mouse over the various tool groups, it will display the tools inside that tool group. For some of you, that may have been all you wanted to know from this tutorial, which is totally fine, but I will cover some additional toolbox customizations. So I can always customize my toolbox by going to Edit, Preferences, and I'll come down here to Toolbox. So for starters, you can turn off the tool groups just by checking this option. And there you'll see the groups will now dissipate and become individual tools, much like it was before the GIMP 2.10.18 update. You can always change this from a single column, like so, to a double column if you wanna be able to see all the tools. In my case, I will use the tool groups and I will change this back to a single column. But you can also change the menu. So as I said, when you hover your tools over this in single column mode, it'll automatically display the tools inside here. 
I can turn that off by coming over here and changing this to show on click. So now when I hover my mouse over each tool group, it'll tell me what's inside the tool group, but it won't necessarily allow me to select the tool. I have to click and hold my mouse now, and that will allow me to select a tool from the group. I can also change what tools are displayed here. I can hide groups entirely if I don't want them there. So that first group is now hidden or I can rearrange these. I can regroup all the tools if I want just by clicking and dragging a tool from one group to another, just like I would do a layer. I'm not gonna do that right now, but that is an option. And if you wanna reset back to the default, you can come over here and click the little reset button. Lastly, if I wanted to change the style of my icons, I have color icons right now. I can go over to icon theme and here you have all the options for the icons. So as I said, I have this set to color. You can do legacy, which is basically the old school look for the icons. You can go with something like symbolic if you wanna do single color, which is more similar to something like Photoshop or symbolic inverted if you prefer a darker set of icons. Obviously we can't see those because we are also in dark mode here for the theme but you also have symbolic inverted if you wanna have these a little bit more visible. Still not super visible there. I'm gonna come back up to color, that's just what I prefer. Lastly, you can adjust the size. So down here, I have my icons for my tools set to custom icon size. You can use the default size for your screen resolution for your computer or based on the default values from the themes set up by the GIMP team. I prefer to go custom icon size and you can make these icons as small or as large as you want, pretty much. So I'll click okay to apply those changes and there's our final setup. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you can check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Davies Media Design. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out all the links to my resources in the description of the video, but thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.